Hello friends, this is Odds, and the other day I made a video called The Future of Tunneling in DVD. This was a video where, long story short, I said that tunneling is a big issue, there will need to be big changes to address it, and when those big changes come, I'm afraid that people on both sides, Killer and Survivor, will probably complain about them. But on top of this, I also made a statement that a lot of people were confused about. I said, tunneling now, in the current meta, feels more necessary for Killer. And people were a bit confused. They're like, wait, Ots, what do you mean? Killer is so easy now. Why would tunneling be now more necessary than before? Into this video, I'm going to explain why I feel this is. And then afterwards, after I give you the theory, I'm going to show you the practice. I'm going to show you a game where I play Mr. Nice, where I don't tunnel. And you see what happens. And you see why people like and probably feel the need to tunnel more right now. Let's talk about some different playstyles, right? The most beautiful of them all is the Mr. Nice Guy build. This was pretty common a year ago or more, back when barbecue gave you points for hooking individual survivors. A lot of killers didn't really care about 4k, didn't really care about winning, they just wanted to get most points possible. So they put on barbecue and chili, which is a subpar information perks, not really incredible in most killers, and they tried to hook multiple people. They would bring perks like Pop Goes the Weasel, which was nerfed, not so good now, so that they could keep slowing down the game the more hooks they got. Maybe perks like Make Your Choice, that uh, encouraged them to spread the pressure to multiple people. This is wonderful, this was awesome, but it was never the easiest, it was never the best. And now that Barbecue doesn't give points, the perks like Pub have been nerfed, the perks like Make Your Choice become less and less relevant, this build now is, and this playstyle is just less prominent than before. Uh, another uh, playstyle that is actually quite strong is endgame builds. You could go, mind you, full endgame build, uh, something like this, but this was never the strongest part of an endgame build. Uh, the really good endgame builds were the hybrid ones. If you bring uh, a perk like No It and No Way Out, plus some other perks for the start and middle of the game, these builds were really, really good. You did not need to tunnel one person out of the game immediately with a build like this. Back then, the time that No Way Out bought you was more valuable. No It did not show its aura uh, when revealed, which meant that solo players had a hard time finding it, and Survivor so friends sometimes even struggled too. And having a build with perks like this was actually really, really viable. My 50 wins on Artist was achieved with a build similar to this. And from 50 wins to 70-something wins on Doctor, I also achieved with No It and No Way Out. Very reliable, very good uh, build that was not entirely focused on tunneling at all. Just endgame stuff. But this doesn't work as well anymore. No It has now been nerfed, and people will find your totem quicker. And No Way Out buys you time, but this time it's not as valuable because of perks like Reassurance, uh, the, mm, the the big resurgence of adrenaline users, and so on and so forth. So this style is still good, but nowhere near as strong or viable as before. Another thing that has seen a big dip is camping, especially with killers that have an insta down, like say Cannibal, camping was extremely viable. Uh, me, myself, I did a bunch of experiments where I tried to catch a person as soon as possible and camp them at five gens, straight up, just camp, straight up, just sit in front of them. Uh, the gens, even though they were shorter back then, they were only 80 seconds, they did not go as fast as they do now with some of these perks. Corrupt Intervention, before it got nerfed, stayed up the whole two minutes, which meant that if you camp someone at five gens, they only had four instead of uh, instead of seven gens to do. Um, it didn't go away. So this was disgusting. If you hook someone between two gens, now instead of four, they only had two. And if you harass them out of a gen, guess what? Deadman Switch would block the gens for 45 seconds before it got nerfed. Uh, Deadlock and No Way Out haven't been nerfed, but again, the time they buy now is very different. Back then, Reassurance didn't exist, and camaraderie slash kinship was extremely, extremely niche, and nobody brought it. So if you camped and you had these slowdown perks, I guarantee you, you would win 9 out of 10 games at least. It was extremely, extremely easy and viable to camp. Nowadays, not so much because of perks like Reassurance, because of the increase of perks like Deliverance, Adrenaline, things to help in endgame, it's nowhere near as easy as before. Before, survivors had to pretty much be forced to run the perk borrowed time. Now they don't have to, because it's partially base kit, so all of those empty perks allow them to have perks like Reassurance that make No Way Out, Deadlock, and the previous ones less profitable. I'm pretty sure that you yourself have noticed that over the last year, camping 
like straight up aggressive camping has gone down. So this build may be still pretty good, but nowhere near as consistent and easy to use as before. So with endgame going down, with Mr. Nice Guy going down, with camping going down, how about tunneling? This is a build that we used to get 50 wins on Clown and on Doctor uh, from 0 to 50. This is an incredible build. It's a good build overall, but it's particularly good for tunneling. You find non-obsession survivors with Discordants, tunnel one of them super aggressively. Every time you down them, Jolt hits the gens. Every time you hook them, Pop hits the gen. When it's only a few survivors left, say the best for last with increasingly common Pop goes the weasels, destroy survivors. This build for tunneling was super, super, super effective. So has tunneling become worse? Like the other playstyles. No, tunneling has become better. Now survivors have to deal with tunneling perks that are even better than those. Uh, if you want to run, say, the best for last to go through health states and hit through water time and so on, you can still do it. It works really well on many killers. Now you also have pain resonance. You don't even have to go and kick the gen. You can just tunnel one guy, hook them, uh, proc pain rest, I tunnel them aggressively, recycle the pain rest, someone exchanges at the hook as they have to, you recycle the pain rest, bam, bam, you're just, you're just doing the same thing, minus 15, minus 15, minus 15. On top of that, you can also kick gens, with Kyle O'Brien, they will regress a lot if left unattended, if they are attended, eruption can hit them and make the survivors incapacitated, and during this time, you can just go and focus on the person that you want to tunnel off, and when you have tunnel one person off, then these perks become absolutely brutal in the 3v1. Very difficult to hold a 3v1 against a competent killer if your gens explode and make you useless for 30 seconds. So, 25 seconds. So, yeah. Notice that the other playstyles have gone down in the stock market. And the playstyle of tunneling has gone up. So, is tunneling more necessary now than before? Kinda. Kinda. Because the other strategies are less popular, are less uh, viable, are less consistent. So, of course, if you want to win, you're going to gravitate towards the one that gives you the most results, and it's probably something like this. Now, let me show you a game where I played with a little bit of the Mr. Nice Guy um, syndrome, where I tried to hook everyone, where I maybe gave up a chance to tunnel, and let's see what happens. Let's see why people want to tunnel. Bit of a tough map. Oh, uh... Do we get... Okay. One tree and one harvester. Um, it seems very clear to me those two girls are gonna do absolutely nothing. The skills in the open, the skills in a gen. Could have Sprimber still. Ooh, wow, sharp. Damn, well played. I really didn't think that would hit me at all. She's got this, unfortunately. She shouldn't go for the window, though. Window's a hit. Oof. I thought it was gonna miss with the chest, but... Right, not the greatest start to a chase, but it could work. Are we good, chat? Is everything fine? I'm waiting for you that hard. Oh, there it was! That looked really quick, too. Let's see if we have a white hook nearby. It would be really good if we did. We did it. I teleport back and I see which gens are being worked on, which is super convenient. That's the soda con. Wait, do I really want to do that? Yeah, let's. Nice, it's the one on my right. You heard it too. Maybe if we approach from behind, they don't expect it. Yeah, they did, they did not expect me to be coming from this angle. That's good, we don't kick it. We try to wrap up this chase. Might be a hit if no that heart. Now rate her voice. But it was that heart. So it was that heart. Yeah, it's two out of four so far, but I'm confident. I'm confident we'll get the numbers. Um, I don't respect it this time, I think. Nice. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, yo, yo. Hi, Joey. Hey, that's convenient. Let's do another teleport, maybe? Not sure. Two hooks, one gen. It's not a big deal. That, that's not a big deal. The star's not too bad. I'm not complaining. <laughs> that heart's funny, but I'm not complaining. Uh, this is a new, fresh survivor. Do I want them? Yeah, I'll take them. 
they kind of put themselves in a bad spot, I think. I wouldn't even rule that I was a dead heart, by the way. That could be a dead heart. She just maybe didn't react fast enough. Uh, it's a bit of a stretch chat, but I think it's worth it. If you if they see you walk past a hook like this, they already know what you're doing. But you gotta do it anyway. You gotta realize that getting one pain dress, late as it was, it's really good chat. Because it's not just one. It means that now you have a person injured near a hook. That needs to be rescued. That could be someone else getting that hard. That, uh, sorry, getting pain rest afterwards when they rescue an exchange. So one often leads to another. Oh, sharp play by her. She should keep running away. Did she? No. Honestly, a blur. Oh, she's in this direction again. Okay. I think when she saw me fake my power, she thought, okay, this is gonna slow himself down. Uh, we just we just faked it a little. The greed? I mean, it could have paid off. But... Dead Heart is balanced? That's okay, that one... <laughs> that one I have expected. Oh, uh, three out of four Dead Hearts. And I'm pretty sure the fourth one could still have it, so... It's not even ruled out. I think it's this one we need to worry about a bit. Yikes. Yeah, I'm coming. Wait. Oh, not too bad. That's good. Uh, we force her out of the jungle gym. This is a pallet gym. Much weaker. Chat? What is she doing? This is a very strange happening. Uh, one hook on everyone, yeah? Yeah, we did. Nice try. Pain us, pain us. Please! I need it. Fast. Do I have any? Mm, no, not really. Actually, this is doable. Mm, uh, I'm gonna risk power struggle. That's good. What's this gem? No, actually. Uh, Alright, this might be my final portal. Uh, look for the gems that are yellow, Chad. Uh, don't look for anything. <laughs> What's this here? Am I gonna tunnel her? I should. I'm not going to. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Don't forget that hard on this guy too. Nice. Come that hard if you don't expect it. Oh, that was good. We needed that. Okay. That girl healed with the mad kid, I think. Uh, and now we have two people that don't hook, so it's something. Not anything incredible, tangible yet, but something. Alright, let's go. Let's see if that gen is yellow. It's not, no one's here. Oh, I can't see behind me. Maybe someone's here, but definitely not. Oh, shoot. I actually wouldn't mind at all teleporting back right now. Damn, I got on. Why not? They're gonna heal immediately after four. I'm just too far. Clueless. At least you have the end game? Yeah, but the end game's not enough. Chat, it's not enough, frankly. This is not the mech I want. I want the obsession. These two girls are literally worthless to me right now. I mean, nothing. If I were them, you know, I would be. Yeah, yeah, chase me, chase me, chase me. Yeah, yeah, chase me, you dumb idiot. Let's see. Uh, Jen on the right is. It's not the orange color of the event, it's yellow. That means someone's on it. This goes down on hook, let's chase her. I would free drop that if I were her. Yeah. Okay, she makes it to the window of shock. And we have to say thank you for not running adrenaline, or else I would have lost already. Yikes. Oh yeah, if you want to take anything away from this game, uh, you need to tunnel people. You need to tunnel people. People heal themselves far too quickly. 
There's the looming threat of adrenaline. And four people, even even if they're not super efficient, are still four people, dude. Even if you make some good plays here and there. Not to mention that the last three games, we've all had styptics or syringes. Which means, you know, even someone that's injured that looks a bit... That was a very generous side chomp. That's dumb. That's really dumb. Let's see your dead heart. I don't want to grab, I want to down. Um, someone healed. Let's find them. Hold up. Mm. Yikes, I don't know, chat. I don't know. This is two kills, but I want more than two. Let's look nearby. I don't know how we do this. You could try an anti-heal build? It's an uphill battle, chat. I don't think I don't think there's anything you can actually do against anti-heal. You bring anti-heal build. Okay, then they do just fast. You know what I mean? Like you, you slap the Franklin's medkit out of there. It doesn't matter. It generally doesn't matter. Oh, one of the gates isn't here? Or it is? Yeah, they're happy with the two. They're happy with the two, fair enough. Wait, chat, but what if I I don't have a portal nearby, I can't do anything. We'll take the two then. Maybe start the streak with plague? Oh, don't worry, don't worry, chat. I'm, I'm aware. Like I, like it's not like, oh my god, this is new. What? Not items? What? What is this? No one's ever done this before. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just, I'm just telling you how I, how things are gonna go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. The, I think this game shows that you need to be. Uh, Lado, bit. You need to be a bit tactical. You need to tunnel. You need to tunnel someone out with the current meta of the game, I'm afraid. Uh, they could make it. They could mess this up. Are you the girl that has that heart, but we haven't really figured out if she does? Oh, sorry about showing your butt everywhere. Yeah, I think she is. So that's four out of four. That hearts, I think. Oh, she's already healed! Oh my lord, she's already healed. Oh. Makes sense, but wow. All right, there's one thing we could do. There's one thing we could do. Pretend to be stupid, and then... Oh, okay. I think I pretended a bit too well, chat. And then get a grab, I was gonna say. Nah, they're, they're totally out. Jesus. That's, that's cool. Yeah, my idea was pretend to look for the Junjin and then get a grab, but she did it so fast. She did it so fast, dude. Well, fair enough. Yeah. Now let's see. Let's say I bring an, like three anti-healing perks. Jen gets done fast. Everyone has proved herself. Uh, one adrenaline could be more. This guy that has after could have another adrenaline. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's not simple. It's really not that simple. It's not like oh, you don't like medkits, so try to counter medkits. Medkits are hard to counter. If a guy has Franklin's, guess what? You can go for your medkit and pop this, and you heal automatically. So it doesn't really matter. It's not so simple at all. Oh, did you see? 